The all new Marvel's Avengers DLC has had its first gameplay release today which you can see in the background. Now Bucky Barnes looks good and a lot of people are saying that they are getting a feel of Captain America Winter Soldier which I definitely agree on but there are a few problems which you definitely want to know so stick around but just from this glimpse that you see right now from the get go how do you feel about this? Let me know in the comment section below and like this video if you still have this game downloaded. Now Bucky comes with a whole new set of moves and a custom mission chain and to be fair the way he was showcased at the start of this trailer actually does look good. Now when I say he comes with a whole new set of moves I'm going word by word with what was actually said in that trailer. Now the cosmetics shown for him too do just look as good and the fact that it's been a year since we've got a new character I have to say that I'm genuinely looking forward to it but as I say there is an issue which I think we can all agree on now Miller took to Twitter to share his thoughts and before I say what he said it's really gonna elaborate on what I just said a moment ago when it comes down to them saying that he comes with a whole new set of moves and of course the custom mission chain now Miller did go ahead and say Marvel's Avengers marketing is bad really really bad I'm sorry I know that the department is full of great lovely people but the the reaction to their marketing is so predictable every single time and yet there's Nick again running damage control in the replies on reddit. I will never understand why this game seems to dodgingly pursue unforced errors. It's really not hard to anticipate that the community and the press are going to have questions regarding how much of Bucky's kit is actually new if only because this is the first new character after Jane. They drop vague warnings about how much is reused months in advance and now stuff the reveal video with some of the most unflattering deceptions of his kit for the luxury of getting pummeled in the press unchallenged because surprise there's a new combat trailer later this week. Why isn't the combat trailer first? You're leading with the thing that's not the focus and poisoning the first impression of his kit which was already going to be a hard sell. You might as well just have saved the money and and uploaded unedited gameplay seriously no really and now you've got a situation where the community is upset about something and that makes it negative for the developers to want to interact with but that's not the community's fault and it's not the developers faults it's the marketing's fault and I gotta say that Miller has a really really good point point. and the reason why I wanted to mention this is because in that trailer of course it does say that Bucky comes as I mentioned numerous times already with a whole new set of moves but if you've been following what Miller has actually released prior to this even actually being released Miller already addressed the fact that a lot of this well moves and, and the skill sets in general are actually reused as a whole and again it's just a question about how much of that has actually been reused now again you can take a look at this gameplay trailer and from my perspective overall it does genuinely get me excited and I don't know if that's the fact that as I mentioned it's been over a year since we had a character or a new DLC if you will or if it's just the fact that it's a slightly different character, different moves, different weapons etc but how do you guys feel about this stuff? I want you to let me know in the comment section below because let's be honest this game is... I mean it surprised a lot of people, it surprised a lot of people on the fact that it's actually still going. Me and I know there's tons and tons of you guys that also felt the same, assumed by now that the plug would have actually been pulled for this game. Again the question then comes, okay where do we go from this DLC and how much of the same stuff can they basically keep adding into this game to where it's just the same recycled stuff, just a new character model ultimately. That's the big question but as I say it still surprised a lot of people that the game is still going and it's very clear that even though people know that a lot of this stuff may be reused, you still are tempted or if not are absolutely going to go ahead and play the game again. So it's a weird, weird, I guess, interaction with the community and the game and how people feel as a whole, but... I don't know, again, I've had my fair share on where I can say, you know, this game is just going completely south and it's just, a, you know, a complete shambles as a whole, which, I mean, even taking the recent news, which I initially uploaded a video on yesterday, about one of the devs actually being, well, not ultimately stepping down, but they got caught, of course, sharing some views on social media, etc., but then 
prior to that, the miscommunication, the new community manager that was, of course, hired that basically isn't, and again, no offense, really doing the best of jobs in regards to actually keeping the community sort of, I guess, up to date and engaged as a whole. So there's a lot of questionable things going on with the game. And I do think Miller has a point where had it have just been a lot better marketing and had the community managers or manager in general just been a lot more engaged with the community and were being updated with the progression of games, etc., or modes, should I say, then I guess things would actually be different. But when it's just silence and things are going wrong and we don't really address it and then they just throw a trailer out knowing again as Miller said that there's going to be a whole bunch of questions regarding you know how much is reused etc I mean yeah you know you don't really have to go more in depth to explain how bad that situation actually is but I want you to leave your thoughts on this in the comment section below where do we go from here? Are you going to be downloading this DLC and actually playing the game or re-downloading the game if you haven't already? Now, I've actually re-downloaded the game. I've still got it there, so I'm definitely going to be going ahead and giving this DLC a shot. Are my expectations high? Absolutely not. Do I genuinely think I'm probably going to play you know, a handful of times and then put it back down? More than likely. Because again, there's nothing really sufficient enough to still keep an individual still playing the game. Because, I mean, content is just very, very dry. This game had something, I mean, it could have been something. You guys know that. We all know it could have been something. And I think the only thing that is genuinely keeping this game alive is the fact that A, there isn't a Spider-Man 2 yet. And B, there isn't really another big, I guess, superhero game out there that can really take that limelight. Now, that isn't going to stay that way for long. I mean, next year as a whole is probably when this game is going to have that light taken off it or whatever is left shining on this game because you're going to have Spider-Man 2 instantly. Even though it's an exclusive, it's still going to snatch that spotlight. And again, also considering that it is actually a single-player game if it's not an online mode, etc. like this game, it's still going to take that limelight. And then, of course, you've got the Wolverine game as well. So... I mean, there's a lot of stuff going as far as, you know, when it comes down to Marvel games. We knew and all anticipated that, you know, an Avengers game as a whole could actually be big. And this game just never really met to that standard that I think we all had. You know, there's rumors again still of, you know, the release date for the new Iron Man game as well. So really the only reason why this game is still thriving is simply because I don't think there's any other games that Marvel fans as far as like almost semi open world games at least anyway apart from Spider-Man can actually go ahead and play and right now this is still the newest superhero game per se right out there so we'll have to see how it does in 2023 but if I have to be brutally honest I think that it's going to be the end of the game but nonetheless I think as a fan and just somebody who still feels like this game can be fun to play from time to time for as long as they keep pumping out DLCs and news I think I will always as a fan just still remain engaged and still go ahead and play the DLCs because at this stage I guess you just accept it for what it is but Spider-Man 2 is looking very promising and if you haven't seen this news that was released the other day You want to go ahead and check that out because that is very very interesting. So I'll see you over there